Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Good runs lately, we're on win 22, which is really encouraging, I think. And we start with the White Feather and Soy Milk, lovely. <laughs> J6BKDYH8, as in, do you hate this? Hopefully not. I mean, Soy Milk is not amazing to start with, but it's not necessarily a death sentence, especially if we can pick up some damage to go along with it. Oh, thank God that I used my Sun card immediately before encountering the blank card. Now what's better? Blank card or um... Uh, blank card or the white feather? Almost certainly the blank card. But we may want to at least use um... white feather to finish this floor off and then see where the world takes us. Blank card just, it gives us so many more opportunities to bust the run wide open. That I think you gotta respect it. But I will admit that uh, it probably would have been real dope if I just saved the sun card. So if you're watching along with this run at home, there's my recommendation. Wait for uh, wait for the second room before you use the sun card, because blank card will make all your dreams come true, like a Hall and Oates song that was prominently featured in the 2009 film 500 Days of Summer. For now, though, um, it's not bad, to be honest with you. Soy milk has some cool implications if things start going amazing for us, but, you know, we actually have to bring that to fruition first. And the other thing that we could do here is, uh, get, like, blank card something amazing, and then the world's our oyster. The world's our cloister. I do wish I knew how much HP we had, though. Oh, man, another battery charge. I wish that I'd known that was there earlier. Like, the curse room scares me without having a spirit heart. So what do we got here? The haunt? Pretty tricky, uh early game boss here, but on the bright side, the existence of the White Feather means that we probably just need to hit the Big Haunt with like one of the Beams of Light. Luckily these guys are like in sync for shooting, not in sync with each other, but they, they fire sequentially, so I know when it's coming. Alright, let's try this. Oh, it worked! It didn't quite kill it, but it got a, a lot of work done. We gotta actually be careful of... Oh, Jesus Christ, that could've killed me. We gotta be careful of the knockback here, because it's gonna... affect where he shoots. Unfortunately. Probably got a little bit of a window here. The good news is, we can keep him in, like, the line of fire... a lot longer than we'd otherwise be able to, by just bouncing him, like, slightly around the... Start here. What do you think? We got. We have to have at least two HP. Because we have red arts, I think you absolutely go into here. Then. Oh, I hate this. There is no way to to change my feelings about this situation. And don't forget about blank card. Blank card has done nothing wrong yet. Um. I would like to. Oh, ah! Don't kill me. I'm not ready to die. Give me a red heart or something. Hopefully that only did a half heart. Please. I'm begging you. I'm probably dead. I probably just lost the streak as a result of this fucking... Oh! <laughs> We're back, baby! Okay. What do you do? Well, I think you get blank card. And I think you tell that rune to basically go fuck itself. Um, I know that there's this chest in here. Theoretically, we could get it. But I think instead you come in here and you look at this and you say, Okay, what do we got? We got a spirit heart. You gotta get the spirit heart if you can afford it. And we can't. So that's dope. Um, I guess we just leave then. Extinguished all the fires out here. So let's see how close we actually came to uh, eating our own mustard on this run. We had a little bit more HP than I actually would have thought, so... We weren't quite at the level of death that I was expecting. This floor is fucked, though. Like, the fact that we're on another, um, cellar here, and we still have shit damage, man. Like, really, really shit damage. This is a problem. We need to earn a deal with the devil here. At the same time, the odds of earning a deal with the devil are substantially lower as a result of the fact that we have no spirit hearts and we're taking forever to kill even, like, little baby spiders here. Battery charge is beautiful if we can just get, um... A card. Almost any card I'll be happy with. Hangman looks pretty good here, for example. 
As long as we're saying, you know, things that are not the Sun card. I have to admit that this run is very interesting to me. On the level of, like, how silly it is that it could have just been so easy for us. If I had just not used the Sun card... For effectively little reason. We'd have, once every four rooms, we'd have Necropolis plus mapping plus full health. Easiest win of all time. Instead, human greed knows no bounds. And I've, I've now found myself in this situation. Yep. I looked at it and I said to myself, Self, how are you going to get out of this one? And I did not come up with a good answer. Too many bombs, too many enemies rushing us down. Oh, this is, uh, it's not great. The knockback is really pissing me off at this point. We still could... I'd love to fight like Larry Jr. or something. Enemies that are not affected by knockback, low-ish HP, Widow wouldn't be so bad either. I don't really want to take this pill just yet. Let's, let's try to fight the boss. It's gonna be Pin. Pin is not really affected by knockback either, so this is actually a fairly ideal boss fight for us. Yeah, Pin is actually eating shit. Please, God, find it in your heart to give me the deal with the devil, even though I didn't guarantee it for myself. Fuck. <laughs> Instead, we get a shot speed increase. Probably just about the least important thing we could have gotten here. And we had an addicted pill. That could have been pretty dangerous, actually. Um, will we go to the curse room? I think absolutely we try to go to the curse room, get something out of it. Uh, I understand the, the risks. I understand that we do have a black heart as of right now. And we could use this black heart to possibly, uh, you know, finance or, or facilitate a deal with the devil on the next floor. Right now, I'm, I'm just mourning uh, the, the amazing run that we could have had if I had just not been an idiot. I'm also hoping to get, like, keys and... Uh, bombs, so we can get money, go to the shop, buy freaking tarot cards. Any tarot card almost will do. Please, we have so much, like, latent usefulness that is just not being used right now. I'm okay with poops, give me petrified poop. Every enemy can just absolutely suck on my nuts. Look at how many shots it takes us to kill a dip. This is the run that people, like, when they talk about a run being bad, because of soy milk, this is the run that they're thinking of. They, they imagine this run that just has no damage, super high knockback, you know, you hit an enemy five times more frequently, but you do, you know, only one-third the damage that you're used to as a result of it. It's your opportunity game to get us out of this situation, to be honest with you. All you need to do is if you make soy milk respectable. Give us piercing shots or something. Give us a tear effect. Left hand is pretty good. I do appreciate that. So what do you do in this situation if you get no consumables on this room? I do think you look for a secret room. And your dream there is to get two keys, I guess. Um, apart from that... <laughs> fantastic question. I'm glad you asked. Um, I, I really don't know, to be honest with you. I, you, you, gotta, you gotta ride the lightning as long as possible. So we got two extra bombs. I guess you check the curse room direction first. Just in case. I still think that would have found it. And we did get our money out of it, so there's something. Oh, fuck. It's gonna be... It doesn't really matter. It's gonna be right here, isn't it? We got two bombs back. Okay, so we can at least go to our item room. Inside of our item room, we get the Zodiac... Not really very exciting. Uh, what we're hoping for out of the curse room, then, is stone chests? I mean, that's not gonna happen. Okay, so we got nothing. Uh, that floor was shitty. That floor was shitty and bad, and I feel bad about the situation. Is there anything we can do about this? Can we... Like, is this second secret room potential? It was indeed, and we got a nickel out of it as well. The second secret room has golden horseshoe, but to be honest with you, I'm kind of happy with the, uh... With the left hand right now, even though it hasn't provided us with anything, psh, by all means, right? Like, we okay. Let's head down here. Zodiac could give us good stuff if, if we get, you know, stompy here. I really don't know what we have right now. Um, we have a pill of some sort. 
I don't want to take it in case it's a bad trip. It was not bad trip, it was I can see forever. Fantastic. Uh, two keys, alright, starting to build up uh, a, a theoretical base from which we can uh, work with here. These enemies are not that affected by knockback, so even though it's going to take a couple cycles to kill them, that's not so bad. This is what scares me more, is enemies that are rushing us down, and yeah, possibly making little Q-bones out of the situation. So I really feel like I have to save my bombs for a uh, the case of these enemies becoming other enemies. The curious case of these enemies becoming other enemies. Okay, that's fine. I mean, again, battery charges are dope as long as we can actually get the ability to use them, which we have not been able to so far. <laughs> okay, <it's laughs> how many rooms without combat can we have in a row? I guess I shouldn't be mad about it, but this room is probably where we lose our lack of damage. Like, the, the fact that we've not been hit yet on this floor or taken red heart damage. Probably goes by the wayside now. Just trying to give myself, like, a window... And, you know, we, we can sort of see these dangerous situations before they come to fruition. I'm amazed we didn't get hit there. So a Spirit Heart is, like, number one priority, I think, just to give us the chance at a deal with the Devil on this floor. And then, um, no greed. There's no greed in a second. Oh, okay, Guppy's Tail. We're starting to build a Guppy run. Go into our shop. Uh, you absolutely buy a Spirit Heart, and I think you get Hive Mind just in case. Okay, so we have the Spirit Heart that protects us for the deal with the Devil. We have not improved ourselves yet. The Hive Mind pickup at half price is really like a... is a Hail Mary and a half here. This is not like a 50-yard Hail Mary. This is like a 99-yard Hail Mary. I don't know why I use football analogies so much. We, I mean, we do have Canadian football, which is the same as American football, except we have a different number of downs and the field is slightly longer and etc etc but anyway should be using a hockey analogy yo this is not like a this is like sending fucking wade belak up to take your shootout for you you know doesn't really work as well also i think wade belak died recently so maybe not the best reference fruitcake is uh exciting but also fairly dangerous but to be real with you, I think we have to embrace the fact that it comes with some tier effects. And some of these tier effects are going to do damage independent of my actual damage stat. Like Holy Light, for example. If Holy Light hits, that's an outrageous improvement in our damage. So, you know, even, even Fire Mind. Fire Mind lighting an enemy on fire is worth so much more to me. But Holy Light is, is kind of the big one right here. I think we just got a huge, like, Explosivo or Ipecac shot or something in there. That was amazing. So we actually did get a damage upgrade. The shot speed is actually getting ridiculous. And... <laughs> I think you take Dark Bum. I don't think you take Mom's Knife. As ridiculous as that's gonna sound. I think we just go, man. Honestly, I'm ready to be on the next floor. Um, Dark Bomb can keep us alive. Mom's Knife plus Soy Milk, I actually think is a bad combination. It's so hard to hit things that are close to you. I'm still, I'm still not a believer in this run. But I'm starting to get to the point where I can believe. Also, money is no longer going to be an issue at all, thanks to Head of the Keeper. So I think you stay very, very far away from enemies. You let Dark Bomb take that half red heart for sure. He, he paid out? Or did, and that might have been a Serpent's Kiss play. Either way, that's dope. Oh, we got a luck upgrade out of it. Um, I'm thinking you shoot this way. And hope for no explosions. You know what? It's not worth it. We can get the we can get that. I wanted to get the key, but it's... it's Clever. But it's not very smart to do that. Sure, we can get the Strange Attractor, but we can also blow ourselves up with Ipecac shots. You know, take two damage before we even know what happened, really. So we got a bomb. That's great news. I recognize, by the way, that there's an arcade back there. And the arcade combined with that uh, mob trap room is very interesting to me. It's actually a boss trap room, of course. I am going to try to take advantage of it here. I wasn't at first, but now that we have uh, some spirit hearts backing us up, I am going to. Alright, that's fine. Red chess. We already got one guppy item. Bombs. Lovely. Probably should not have stood there. Pills. 
Dude, Fruitcake is actually an enormous pickup here. As long as we stay away, the extra tier effects are, are kind of saving our life right now. Pretty fly, lovely. Probably shouldn't take the other ones until this enemy is dead. Commander, your men are already dead. That's... Name that movie. You're right. This is the Matrix. Heard of it? Well, I really should have used Lemon Party, apparently. Oh, if you had just been, like, Guppy's ball sack, I would have been super stoked. Okay, still no keys, but we've gained, like, literally, like, 30 cents on this floor so far. And the red hearts are still coming fast and furious. I'm saving all of those for Dark Bum. Ooh, that's good shit. Right there. Okay, not interested. I, you can see, we've built, we built a winnable soy milk run. It's not quite there yet. Like, we have the ingredients for this winnable soy milk run, but it hasn't culminated into the recipe yet. I don't really care that you paid out with spiders, but never do it again if you want to keep your job. I'm telling you, we're gonna get this, uh... We're gonna get this guppy payout. There's just too many red chests showing up. I think it's the combination of left hand and, um... And, uh, Guppy's Tail. That's giving us, like, several red chests per floor. That kind of, like, frequency cannot be sustained without getting the Guppy Dream at some point. Now, it's not working out nicely thus far, unfortunately. Uh, still only have the one Guppy item, but it's a start. Who knows, we could get a deal with the devil on this floor. Stranger things have happened. Notice, uh, not too concerned about the idea of boss rush on this one. I do want a key, and the first step, uh, if we get that key... Definitely go to the shop. We have so much money. Um, a mom's key or something like that. Nothing wrong with that. But now at least like we're able to kill enemies. This is huge. The money is ridiculous. Just any other consumable would also be nice for a change. Okay. Clutch dodge. Good serpent's kiss. And there's our 50 cent key inside of the shop. It's a greed fight. It has to happen at some point. I'm not too disappointed. Although, I'll be honest, I'm extremely disappointed. I would very much like to not have greed and get a key. Give me a key. Red chest, not a guppy item. Real disappointed. But the money is, is off the chain right now. We could walk on spikes to get that key and then open the item room, but I don't really see it. Oh, you know what? You know why this floor is so good for us? I just realized we can't get attached to it. It's the piercing shots. It's the fact that we have Sagittarius right now. Once we lose Sagittarius, run's gonna be a lot worse, so... Be ready for that. Enjoy this floor. This floor's been great. It really has been. But starting next floor is not gonna be so easy. But for now, it's a beautiful life. Oh, oh, whoa! It's a beautiful life. The Ace of Base. No, who's saying it's a beautiful life? Not It's a Wonderful Life. That's Jimmy Stewart. I'm gonna miss this floor. Please give me a deal with the devil. I'll settle for Lump of Coal. Or give me an item that has a tarot card attached to it so I can maybe start to do something with blank card. Just saying, okay. Experimental treatment. Whatever. We don't really know what this is gonna do for us. Let's head down to the next floor. Caves 2. No, Dank Dab's 1. Oh, a little further than I had expected. Uh, this is beautiful. Maybe we can achieve our dream here. I gotta be honest with you, I have no idea why we're doing so much damage. I don't know what experimental treatment did for us to make this happen, but I am very for it. Uh, what, could it be a, a Zodiac item? I'm trying to think of what Zodiac item is this fucking good. I'm not sure that I'm coming up with one. Did experimental treatment just make our damage this much better? Because that seems unrealistic as well, but... Um, I guess with soy milk, it wouldn't take a huge damage increase to make our DPS ridiculous. So, maybe that's exactly what's happening right now, but I'm still not going to get attached to it just because, you know, with Zodiac, you never know. This may be fairly transient. But the speed, the pace at which we're making it through this floor is ridiculous. Also, where did... Oh, it's fruitcake rubber cement is what's going on with our bouncing shots. It's like, something feels wrong. Like, we re-rolled our whole run into something amazing accidentally, somehow. Um, for now, I guess, just roll with it. It's been great. I'm not spending 
a key to get a bomb. Now with two keys, we're pretty likely to not find greed in our shop on this floor. That is something that was unfathomable before us, even like three minutes ago. We could not have imagined a situation in which we shot a bomb fly twice and it died. Whatever's happening, more of this please. Epiphora seems like it can really only make our run better. There's another key. We really don't care about the jar. Oh, I did not mean to buy that, but it's not a huge deal. Blank card death is okay. Let's donate. We've got no reason not to donate. We took a lot of money out of our donation machine on a recent run. So anything that we can put back in is fine by me. Jar is not useful. Blank card death is only mildly useful, but it's better than blank card nothing, right? So not worried at all about boss rush. Wish we had slightly better deals with the devil, or shop items, I should say. The deals with the devil have been fine so far. Dark bomb may end up saving our run. You never know. But for now, um... Why not, right? Might as well use it every time it's available. It'll still be faster and less dangerous than killing the enemies ourselves. Boss rush, not plausible. Not possible. I, very nearly not possible. By the time I finish talking about the sentence, if I draw it out enough, it could be not possible. An orbital, I really like because it's damage independent. We did get a deal with the devil here, and of course that's Krampus. We'll head down to the next floor. Um, I don't know why on that floor we did so much damage. Was it? Oh, you know what? Libra. We probably had Libra from Zodiac. Yep, okay. <laughs> Good thing we didn't get too attached to it, huh? But now we know if we pick up Libra, you know, life is beautiful for us. Of course, I figured it out at like the last possible second, but... That's a bummer, because Libra... Um, would be amazing, and it, it made our run so ridiculously good. Now we've actually got to, you know, play with some uh, some skill again. But, to be honest with you, we're not going to be as fucked as I thought we would be. First off, there's always the chance that we get Libra on an important floor. Secondly, um, we, we've improved ourselves somewhat. We continue to get a little better. We're not super far, but I don't really want Bob's brain. We've already got one thing that can explode in our face and kill us. Um, let's let's minimize risk a little bit. Um, we're not super far behind boss rush, which indicates that the run is okay. Now, mind you, it took a, a fairly substantial dice roll to make that plausible, but I'm okay with it. This is for you, Dark Bomb. This one's for you, Dark Bomb. Of course, we could go over there, but I'd rather just take the Spirit Hearts for now. Spirit Heart. For now? What? I would have thought that you would kind of eat a little bit more shit than that. Uh, I'm trying to land some explosions on these skulls so I don't have to waste a bomb to have a chance to get a tarot card. Not really working out so far. That was that was shit damage. We have Gemini on this floor. You know what? Take advantage of it. Seems like with Zodiac, there's always like one item that can that can work for you. Sometimes it's Libra, sometimes it's merely Gemini, but it's okay. I'm not going to take all this money, because it's probably irrelevant. I haven't seen our item room yet, still got two keys remaining for that. Uh, this would be the ideal room for some blank card death action, I'll tell you that. Let's watch the explosions. I would accept Pyromaniac as an item. I would accept a lot of things as an item. Kind of in like a beggars can't be choosers sort of situation here. Okay, I found the secret room apparently. We're gonna have to do that room again, but... Oh, that was horrible. Terrible damage. It shouldn't be too hard. This is just like one... No, it's four. Okay. I thought it was one special wall master, but it's four regular wall masters. Alright, and then we have another wall master. I don't know why I picked that up. Oh, fate is pretty good. Now we can fly. Um... And do we want blank card stars or blank card death? 48 hour energy? I think we just blank card stars for now. Headless baby is, you know, merely okay, but any alternative source of damage is, you know, good in my mind right now. Being able to fly is a nice advantage here. Blank card stars, blank card chariot. Okay. With an orbital, you have to imagine blank card chariot is where it's at. Two turntables and a microphone. I am going to take one of these. I, I, I'm going to need some red hearts probably at some point. Why not take them now? Um, against my better judgment, let's go down and we'll do... Uh, we'll do one more room. The reasoning behind this... 
If we Chariot on the Mom fight, that's a lot easier from a damage perspective. Hopefully, we get a deal with the Devil. I wouldn't mind getting a deal with the Devil. You know what would be a great item? Anything that gives us piercing shots. Um, that, would, that would really tickle my fancy, to be honest with you. I would uh, welcome a Death's Touch, for example. Just throwing that out there in theory. Don't really care about the remaining money. Luck upgrades would be something, but... Alright, I, I kind of botched the the chariot play there, but still, pretty good. I must have blown myself up there. S should stop shooting, yes. Stop shooting when the enemies are close to you. This is still more losable than it probably originally, or than it, than it actually appears here. Once we start losing full HP, that's going to be a problem. Do we have Libra? No. What do we have? I mean, I seem to be doing all right here, damage-wise. We we probably have Scorpio. That explains the greenness. But then you get a second uh, Zodiac item. What could it be? I don't think it's Taurus. We would see the horns. I'm assuming. Honestly, Scorpio's doing okay. Probably have to try that, huh? Oh, that's the good stuff. And the deal with the devil kind of sucked. I don't think we're going to open the other red chest. For two red chests, I'd do it. For one, not sure it's worth it. Please, I was going to say, just be the right way. Saves me a lot of heartache. That's okay, though. Oh, please. I can see forever is okay. Tears down. It probably makes basically no difference for us right now. I'm hoping. I'm thinking if you get on a room you hate, which is, it doesn't describe this room because this room should be easy enough for us. These guys are going to kill each other. Um, but if you get on a room you hate, just bomb your way out. Like this room, for example. Super not a fan. Hopefully this just ends up being the right way for us to go here. And basically at this point, like every floor where we maintain our relative level of HP, I've got to treat that as a pretty big win. So... So far, this floor has been a pretty big win. Can't really cheese that guy as much as I'd like. Uh, this is a weird one. I, I'm going to do it because Shoop the Whoop I think is valuable. And Holy Light would be incredible. If we just get it to land in the right spot. And hey, yeah, exactly. Who knows? Maybe you get a lot of Serpent's Kiss opportunities or something like that. But I'm not thrilled with it. I'll be the first to tell you. Another Serpent's Kiss, though. At this point, it's like, it's just a timing thing. Okay, that was idiotic. Range down. Fairly inconsequential as well. Oh, that is for you. Monsieur Dark Bomb. Thank you for the one spider that is twice as big as you would normally expect a spider to be. Pretty lucky we got out of that without getting hit. Uh, we got bombs. Throw one down here. I would rather use all of our bombs to go through that room without having to actually beat it than, uh, than worry about actually doing it. So 48 hour energy um, is good. We might as well just use it and then use Lemon Party on the next room. And that apparently does not damage these guys as much as I thought it would. But we get a black heart out of this for whatever reason. Then two spirit hearts is lovely. Hopefully this ends up being the right way. And it's not. So that's pretty dope. I'm pretty, I'm pretty into that. I'm pretty stoked. Dope, dope, stoked. Blind Rage. Not really that valuable. Okay. Well, we'll go pick up another battery charge. And I'll tell you what. Don't really like these guys, so I'm thinking we'll just throw a bomb down here. Okay. Tell you what, though. Like, to be honest with you, I'm not really that big of a fan of these guys. So I'm thinking I'll just, like, throw a bomb down here and then move along. Should have, at this point, careful what you wish for. Probably should have just fought them the first time. It was there. We were one room away the whole time. The answer was in our inside us the whole time. Alright, well, let's go kill the bloat. This should be real simple-like. 
And we're done, and you're going to give me the world's greatest deal with the devil, and it is pageant boy. That's awesome. And then our deal with the devil we've already seen. So we're going to head down to the next floor. Lovely. <laughs> Do we have Libra? Yes! Okay. All is forgiven. Let's stack this shit up. Oh, I've never been happier, man. I appreciate Libra more than anybody could possibly understand. Hilariously, we'll probably be able to get to the Gemini, or not Gemini, we'll probably be able to get to the Hush fight now. I'm not really that interested in going through with the Hush fight. Look at the difference in floors. Last floor was like a freaking marathon. This floor is like we showed up and the whole race is already over. No deal with the devil. Head up to the cathedral. You got something for me? I believe in you. Do we have Libra? No. I honestly, I don't want to do these rooms. This is the most like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde run right now. If we have Libra, it's one of the most powerful runs you can envision. If we don't have Libra, I mean, it's not horrible, but it's it's pretty not good. We're really not far away from greatness, though. Like, of course, the, the guppy thing is, is obvious. If we can make the guppy dream happen, then, you know, the, the world is full of so much beauty, it'll make you cry. But at the same time, uh, apart from that, I'd really love to be at permanent Polaroid invincibility. Just so we could actually use our orbital a little bit more offensively. I really, to be honest with you, can't believe that for all of the time that we've had the left hand and guppy's tail, we have not gotten... A second guppy item. The bean is not good. Mr. Bean is a, is a cultural touchstone. The bean. Not very good. The bean. Oh my freaking <laughs> lord. Come on, man. Uh, well, we're going to continue to pick up these spirit hearts on occasion. and Use them whenever it's viable. Um, if we get Libra on the chest, I'm, I'm so thrilled. One chest per room cannot give you guppy items. I don't understand. Small rock. Small rock. This is our small rock opportunity here. It's our small rock opera. It's actually just a red chest. That contains some pills. One of them is addicted. The other one is a health upgrade, which is fairly inconsequential. Okay, what do you think about this room? I think let's learn our lesson. And instead of uh, using all of our bombs to make this happen, let's not use all of our bombs to make this happen. That was actually exceptionally poor. That was so much worse. Oh, when am I going to learn that um, fruitcake is great, but don't stand next to the enemies? This is good. There you go. Holy Light is really the savior right now. I'm assuming Explosivo works as a product of your damage, so like it's not giving us that much more damage, but if it does, then... Well, first off, I apologize. Luck up, that's great. Health up, I don't know. I don't know if we want more, because it, it takes away our range for uh, Spirit Hearts. Oh, holy light. The stars are brightly shining. It's supposed to be Aaron Neville. Did you know Aaron Neville's like 80 goddamn years old? What an idiot. I'm just joking. Good on him. Keep that body in good condition. Keep that body. Keep that body. Make sure you don't hurt nobody. But seriously, like, do your best to make sure you don't hurt anybody. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. If I could just change the world, I could be the sunlight in your universe. You could think my love was really something good, baby, if I could. That's not Aaron Neville, that's Eric Clapton. Two completely different people. Drop the left hand. Let's do this shit. Thanks, uh, by the way, thanks for nothing, left hand. Really appreciate it. Anything? Yeah, I was just gonna say, if we can get through the first two phases of the uh, of the Isaac fight, then we have succeeded here. 
And actually, the fact that Isaac is fairly unaffected by, um... By knockback is pretty important for us here. Careful. We're going to go back for that HP. I'm also going to take a moment after this and talk to Nick because the NLSS is supposed to start relatively soon. Just make sure he's cool with what's going on. For the docket, tell him he might be like two minutes late. All right, sweet. Take this. You got a spirit art for me? No. Of course you don't, you garbage man. Okay, okay, okay. First things first. Come back here. I'm going to grab these spirit arts. After we grab the spirit arts, I'm going to come down. I'm going to open the chests, and then we're going to look at the chests, and we're going to see what they have. And then we're going to talk to Nick, and we're going to be like, Nick, it could be one minute, it could be zero minutes, it could be totally fine, don't worry about it. If we got Libra, it's no sweat. I can't believe we're at least in a decent position here, though. That was... This run's been a little shaky, man. Okay, chest. We do not have Libra. We do have Tech X with soy milk. That's very strange. I'll take Odd Mushroom for fire rate increase. And sure, Toxic Shock is great as well. Neck. We might be a little... Late, like five mins. I'm okay with Pintrillo or whatever. I'm actually more than okay with Pint Pintrillo. I like that game a lot. All right, let's do this. This is going to be good, I hope. We can spam shots out at a ridiculous rate. They're not doing quite as much damage as I'd like, admittedly, uh, considering that we're fighting a boss that you would normally see on, like, the very first fucking floor. Like, this is a little freaking silly, but that's okay. The chariot is still gonna be highly, highly viable. Now, I think you'll forgive me if I say that I want to kill Sloth last here so I can get an Emperor card. Feel like an Emperor card would be very desirable for me right now. Unfortunately, it's very hard to ensure that we just hit everything but sloth with these enormous <laughs> lasers. <laughs> um, I think it's working out pretty well. There we go, okay. Emperor card, Emperor card, Emperor card, Emperor card. He gave us a card. Is the hero font. That's probably better than the chariot, even though it bums me out because the chariot is like way better on damage. Certainly the worst tech X run we've ever had. Like that's, that's pretty much not even worth negotiating over. We've had some luck upgrades. It would be lovely if you would just hook me up with uh, a little bit of Monica in my life, a little bit of Sandra by my side. A little bit of Phoebe's all I need. Little bit of Rachel on TV. I dropped a left hand. Don't even start with me about this, you know, drop the left hand bullshit. We, did, we have three bombs with which to expedite our process here in case you're interested. I guess we might as well put the spirit hearts on the ground. Can I, can I tell you something sad about this run? I'm pretty sure our best damage dealer is actually, no joke, Headless Baby. I think the best damage dealer we got on this whole run was Headless Baby. I also feel like maybe our rate of fire is so high that by actually giving myself Carpal Tunnel Syndrome here, I can dramatically improve our DPS. See, the problem was I was tap shooting earlier, but I wasn't literally making the muscle in my forearm feel like it's on fire. So, Bloody Lust is huge here. Ah, I hit the turbo button! This is ridiculous. We are <laughs> stopping uh, enemies clean in their tracks when they come up here, though. So, Bloody Lust is awesome. To the point where I'm like, I don't think we can afford to just, like, deliberately take damage. But you know what? I'm gonna deliberately take some damage here. Anything... First off, we got the, the Hero Font. But also, like, I'm a man... And a person, like a human being, like I have to live with this run. So anything that makes me do slightly more damage, or dramatically more damage for that matter, I think is is valuable for my mental health. So I'm gonna try to like, you know, be in a position where I still like this game after this run. So anything that allows us to leverage our existing HP to maybe pick up some extra damage is lovely. I almost took that and I would have hated myself, because it would have lowered our damage by 33% or something ridiculous. Um, doesn't sound that bad, but is that bad, I promise you. I'm trying to tap it like as quietly as possible here. 
Okay, at least we're fighting relatively easy rooms, but the fact that we continue to basically come across uh, dead ends here is annoying. I guess they're not dead ends, it's just taking us a while. Oh, it's huge. And finally, that seven cent hive mind purchase has come through in the clutch. I didn't think it would be possible this late in the game. All is forgiven. Most is forgiven. What a ridiculous run. It just keeps getting better. I mean, the hive mind purchase makes me look like a goddamn genius now. Not that the uh, the spiders are going to do that much damage, considering, you know, the fact that we have soy milk. But um, they're certainly going to be worth the, worth the rooms that we've invested to get to them. I'm definitely going to open that. I don't even know what it could be at this point. In fact, we don't know what it could be at any point, I suppose. But definitely not at this point. Good stuff, team. That's actually really good, assuming it works with Tech X, which it actually may not now that I think about it, but that's okay too. Alright. Oh my god, you're gonna give me a big room this late in the game? I kind of want you to, like, hit me twice. That was almost three times, but you know what? I'll accept it. I want the extra damage from Bloody Lust, and we got the extra damage from Bloody Lust. Lost Fly. Oh, we got Beelzebub as a result of that. And finally, for fuck's sake, we're going to be fighting Blue Baby. And it's going to be a win. And you know what? We fucking worked for it, too. Get in there. Ruin his butt. Pop the hero font just so we're ready for it. Oh, this was a satisfying finish. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will... See you next time.